So hey guys, Apple is working on iPhone SE 4. Yes, the next iPhone SE model according to many speculations will be based on the iPhone XR from the initial notch era. Now that is confirmed by information provided by a leaker named John Prosser who released these 3D renders. And based on these render images, the iPhone SE 4 is many years behind the premium models. The notch is back and this time it is the original one, the smaller notch appeared with the iPhone 13 series last year. Say goodbye to the fingerprint reader and the actual home button as well. A report from Chinese site My Drivers in October 2021 openly said that the iPhone SE will change to an iPhone XR like design, a prediction that now appears to have been confirmed by a variety of additional sources. The 4th generation iPhone SE has been rumored since before the 3rd generation model launched early this year. John Prosser's latest claim is similar to the display analyst Ross Young's previous prediction that the next generation iPhone SE will have a 6.1 inches display with a notch cut out at the top. To recall, the first generation iPhone SE was based on the iPhone 5S that debuted in 2013 whereas the design of the iPhone SE 2 and SE 3 was based on the iPhone 8 from 2018 and now it confirms that the iPhone SE 4 is based on iPhone XR. The previously released iPhone SE models features a physical home button. The iPhone SE 4 render shows that the device has slim bezels and does not feature a home button. The render shows the iPhone SE 4 in black, white and red colors. John Prosser showed what iPhone SE 4 looks like but he didn't say anything about its specifications. If we consider previous SE series phones, in my opinion, the Apple A16 or A15 Bionic processor might be used in the device. The iPhone SE 4 might possibly be the company's first device with the fingerprint sensor on the side, the rest of the phone is a mystery. With built-in 5G support, far more screen real estate than the iPhone SE 2022, no fingerprint sensor, no headphone jack and no USB-C port, we would expect this thing to start at around $500. Thus, it is listed behind the iPhone 12 on Apple's current top poll, although it is obviously just a guess. And yes, we believe the entry-level option will keep the same 64 gigs of internal storage as the iPhone XR and the iPhone SE 3. So what do you think about this iPhone SE 4? Let me know in the comment section below. With that said, subscribe if you like and I will see you in the next one.